What's up Raptors? Sonic Raptor is back and I know it's been a while and people are gonna say that where have I been? I mean it's okay, it's just it's hard work with YouTube and it's a whole thing. But now I'm 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 gonna fix this. I'm gonna do a YouTube video now. But today we're gonna be reacting to a video from Filmcore, a Godzilla video. Which is the evolution of the atomic breath. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below what Godzilla is your favorite. Well, actually, let me know in the comments what Godzilla breath do you like. Like the atomic breath. Let's get right into it. Swing straight, right? Try it. Zoom out for the zoom out. All right, so just to be quick, I'm gonna skip the sponsor because I don't wanna do copyright or anything like that. Let's get right into it. Three, two, one, go. Oh, let me turn this down. Okay, you got the original from 1954. <clears throat> and that's a raids again. 1955. It used to be like a vapor in the original films, but it's cool. Godzilla. This is the first Godzilla film where he's in color. Godzilla vs. King Kong vs. Godzilla. And another color is Godzilla film, Godzilla vs. Mothra vs. Godzilla. Sorry, I can't talk. Invasion of Astro Monster. As you see, this is where he dances, which is pretty cool. Huh. A happy moment. Son of Godzilla. 1967. Manila. Some people don't really like Manila, but we all know him. I know Manila, and he's interesting, but weird. Destroy All Monsters, 1968. This is where Godzilla's look remains consistent throughout the other sequels. And the other sequels where he changed his look. Godzilla vs. Megalon, and Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. <clears throat> and Go Terra Mechagodzilla, that was the sequel. I don't really watch the Hanna-Barbera Godzilla, I just watched a different series. This Godzilla had like laser eyes. Pretty cool. And it's Godzuki. That's kind of weird, but sure, I'll roll with it. The Return of Godzilla. This is one of the first Heisei Godzilla movies, so... In the Heisei era. That's pretty cool. I like the roar. Godzilla vs. Biollante, the sequel. This is the sequel where he fought a Godzilla monster, which was... Well, actually, this is the sequel where he fought a plant monster with his DNA. 
And that's all I say from 1991 to 95. This Godzilla was becoming an anti-hero at the time. And he also had a son called Little Godzilla. And his son grew up into Godzilla Jr. Which was uh, pretty cool until Destroya killed him. We see, and we also see the burning version of Godzilla. His breath got way stronger, but then he died. Which is pretty sad. Let me know in the comments when you've seen the Godzilla movies, and, and all of them. I didn't really see all of them, but I, I know about them. Well, no one really liked this one from 1998, but I liked him because he was unique in his own way. Yeah, a lot of people think it was a gas lighting on fire. So... Yeah. But uh, there was a good TV suit. Oh, sorry for the ad, guys. Uh, I'll learn how to cut it out. Guys, I'm really sorry for the ad. I, I don't have it. I can't do anything about it. He had a good TV series that came out of it, though. Godzilla the series. He had the green atomic fire. And his father got resurrected as a cyborg. Which was Cyber Godzilla. Well, they did give him an atomic breath. And they probably made him durable. Just like his son. Ah, uh, yes. Millennium Godzilla. This is the first Millennium Godzilla movie where it featured a spikier Godzilla. With spikier skin and jagged dorsal plates. And giant monsters all out attack, GMK. <clears throat> this Godzilla was like possessed of, from the, was possessed from something. I don't really know what it was. Godzilla against my Godzilla. This one where he fought the Kiryu. Which is the third incarnation of Mecha Godzilla? <clears throat> and the final millennium movie, Godzilla Final Wars. And uh, this was in 2004. His breath can change from blue to red. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah. The burning G-Spark heat ray. They did introduce a millennium version of Manila, which was pretty cool, I will admit. Then they rebooted the movie to the Legendary Era. <coughs> Legendary Godzilla from 2014. This was the first movie I've seen in the... Uh, this is the first Godzilla movie I've ever seen in America. Well, actually, I was... This is the first American Godzilla movie I've ever seen. But you should them to look like that. In theaters. But I've never seen Shin Godzilla. Which is unfortunate. But Shin, he means well, he's pretty cool.
And so, his, yeah, his jaw, this guy's jaw can unhinge and split apart for his atomic breath. And he shoots from his tail and his dorsal spines, which is a little different. But that's cool. He's pretty cool. I've never seen this anime though, the anime trilogy. But I learned that I did learn that he's really big. This Godzilla was huge. Huge in the name, Kaiju. And how Biolante and him can possibly be related. Yep. Godzilla Earth. He's Godzilla, just a little bigger. I never really seen this movie, which, um, sorry guys. I mean, it's okay, it's just. I, like, I, I might watch it sometime. I just never do. <clears throat> oh yeah, Godzilla King of the Monsters. This movie, it was amazing. I love that scene where he blasts his breath in the air. He did that in the end of the movie. Sorry that some guy, some of you guys haven't seen that. I'm sorry. It also introduced the nuclear pulse. And actually, I've never seen this version of Godzilla before. The Snow Godzilla. I am sorry, it's just. I've never seen this version, and it looked cool. So I learned it was just Godzilla covered in snow. It would be cool if we could do snow things. Ah, yeah, Godzilla Ultima. Unfortunately, I've never seen this one singular point, but he looks cool. This is pretty cool. And I don't really get why he has rings when he's about to shoot his atomic breath. But I guess it's just something else. But it's cool. Whoa, yeah. This Godzilla is pretty cool. Oh boy, here we go. We're about to get to the Godzilla vs. Kong. And yes, yeah, so this is an old, this movie, this is a good, I didn't see it in theaters, but I saw it on TV. Unfortunately, I never saw it in theaters, but I did see it on TV, which is pretty cool. On a fire stick. Yeah. This movie was amazing and I loved it. it sounded great. Until I learned that Mad Godzilla was overpowered. And look at Skygan, Megiris, Ghidorah, Space Godzilla, and that's Kiryu. Oh yeah, they're gonna charge their breath. And that is it for this film core video. I hope you all liked it. I personally like Zilla Jr. I personally like Zilla Jr.'s atomic breath because uh, it's his his is unique and green. So, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope you all enjoyed the, the go this minute this video. Sorry, I can't talk. But maybe the next video we'll react to this one, the one with the Jurassic World dinosaurs. And I hope you all enjoyed. 
Guys, let me know in the comments what Godzilla Atomic Breath was cool or which one was your favorite. Just let me know in the comments below. If y'all enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. Give Film Court the love they deserve. Just like Goji Center and other Godzilla YouTubers and other dinosaur YouTubers. Including, uh, what's his name? Jason Shearing. Sorry, I, uh, I I don't know if I pronounced that name right, but I did watch his videos, and they're really good, and I, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed by that guy. I even made a pipe cleaner version of him, and I, I might show him in a picture when I upload a picture, but as of right now, if y'all enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. Peace out, Raptors. Sonic Raptor is out.